Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have we got Lil Baby dropping the denied stamp. JT sends a message. Russ on getting bigger, a bigger bag. Asian doll with the heat and TI clearing things up. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey yo, we appreciate your views and your subscription. Those of y'all bold enough to grab a mic in the comment section, we appreciate y'all for that and for making it interesting. Yo, we scroll through every single comment, every single one. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes with tears of joy, man. Cut it out. Yo, hit the like button midway through the vid if you're feeling any part of it, and hit the subscribe button if you don't mind getting this on the regs. Now, first on deck, are you trying to get a feature from Lil Baby? Well, guess what? The ship has sailed. Lil Baby has announced during the summer that if you were interested in getting a feature from him, it was going to cost you a hundred racks. That, that's a hundred, that's a hundred thousand, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, we just trying to keep up with you kids. Look, you had to drop a bag for that feature. That was then. But now, if you don't have your money up because you was trying to get your lady a Birkin first, well, you done dropped the ball. And the Birkin probably going to be fake anyway. Lil Baby has come through on Twitter and stated, quote, it was fun while it lasted. No more features from Lil Baby with the deuces up and hashtag album mode close quote yo he's spoken the third person man i love when people do that the artist's artist has decided to focus his attention on his next album and i'd like to highlight a lot of artists big name artists mention lil baby as their current favorite artist and your boy is all over the radio like every third song <laughs> lil baby is on it you see what i'm saying so you want a feature you, you probably gonna have to wait about six months to a year something like that now here's an individual trying to start up some trouble Someone came through on Twitter Talking about quote I thought JT was done with Lil Uzi Vert L-M-A-O-O-O-O-O It ain't that funny bro They continue to say City boys up 3,000 See this is why cats log off of social media You see what I'm saying Clowns trying to spark stuff You like Celeb well, What about you Don't come for me bro Okay JT came back and responded to that post by saying Quote that pick is old now this was back on what was it last week now now i think it was yesterday jt came out and posted quote stupid behind for the mucking clown it don't get no better than me all these holes ran through dummy <laughs> close quote which in all actuality a great argument actually shorty is saying the whores out here in the streets have engaged in promiscuous activities at such dizzying levels to such excess you'd have to be a complete idiot to pull away from a clean self-respecting young lady with dignity because you know dudes out here are dirty you see what i'm saying we're filthy look i'll be the first to admit it even the women out here that, that we are like i would never hit that given enough time and circumstances we might i mean i ain't saying it's right but let, let me put it to you like this when megan d stallion came through as melina from mortal kombat in our in our video what is it like four or five days ago or something like that dudes was like yo uh yeah i'll beat the brakes off of that you see what i'm saying i mean watch the teeth girl we, we we gotta do this carefully you see what i'm saying anyway all that to say this jt was on some you picking these ran through chicks over me <laughs> at least that's what it sounded like now Lil uzi vert responded to that statement and said quote don't ever talk to me again translation give me a call i, I mean he could have said nothing she, she didn't mention any names but she just walked up to a mic and made a statement and walked off of the stage and of all the people that could have walked on the stage behind her and made a statement to the world in response to her he did you see what i'm saying jt call the man you know what i mean you like mind your business i don't even know you lady call him you see what i'm saying trust me you know how many women i've had four you're like damn you must be ugly look ugly dudes get chicks all the time just look at that's me look four because the good ones are hard to find you see what i'm saying you know how many pennies are on the floor you're like that's wrong no 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 that's real independent artist russ 
has been pushing for artists to go independent for what feels like as long as I've known about them. You see what I'm saying? And you gotta respect that. A lot of artists are not gun ho about going independent, but this dude not only has done it, but promotes it something serious, which you can't hate on. You see what I'm saying? He wants artists to be able to keep more money in their pockets. Respect for that. You wanna feed your kids, don't you? Your boy Russ has decided to show you just how much he's earned in just one week from TuneCore. Trying to highlight the idea that you don't, it doesn't require a label to make some real paper. Your boy posted a tweet that read, quote, some weekly checks on TuneCore, inspirational purposes only, artists. Own your music and stop letting these labels take 15% distribution fees for pressing an upload button. Close quote, with an image that showed that he made $89,704.79. Bro, don't post your numbers like that, man. I mean, I get it. You want to inspire people to follow your lead, but people are strange, man. Keep the specifics to yourself, homie. You know what I'm saying? I don't even trust me, let alone other people. Come on, bro. Don't do that. We reported to you yesterday, right? That Asian doll made a post on social media giving the, you know, King Von's last words. But his manager cleared that up, showing us the text message receipts of her telling him. If you missed it, you need to go and check that out. Those last words came from, he said, a spirit guide relaying words from beyond the grave. Now, apparently, a bunch of people in the comment section have had similar visits from these things impersonating their loved ones. I can only imagine her dismay when he dropped that nugget of her own words in the text that she sent him. Now, Asian Doll is doubling down on the last words piece, but is saying the words now came from a different source. So let me get this straight. She mis either she misled the manager by saying it was a spirit guide or she's misleading us by saying it came from a different source. I mean, at this point, I am not wrong if we are skeptical of anything that she says. People are hurt, right? And now is not the time to be dropping strange interpretations of what folks said. Look, take a look at this clip right here, okay? And I'm gonna catch you on the backside. And I just period. Any girl that bitch talking about in their family and all, stop playing. No, no place. Sit the fuck down in that wheelchair. Know your place, cause we saw you. We saw what happened. Fuck one angle, fuck the next angle. Everybody was there. And what, when I said whatever came out of her mouth, that shit is real. Cause it, the nigga in the car said it. Stop, I'm not like making this shit up. Who wanna make this shit up? I'm just being real. This I meant the flip side. You see what I'm saying? Look, she said I wasn't there like y'all wasn't there. But the manager that she's talking to is in the hospital with a bullet wound in his leg because he was there. I mean, is it me? Maybe it's me. Grief doesn't excuse actions. You see what I'm saying? Maybe I'm missing something. Please tell me in the comment section, am I crazy? Look, I'll just deny it if you say I am because people double down. Look, the term is called cognitive dissonance. I, I, I mean, look it up. You see what I'm saying? It happens more than you think. You, you'd be surprised. And finally, T.I. has responded in the gram concerning the claim that folks have made concerning a previous statement that he made a few days ago. Now, with everything surrounding the King Von incident, tensions are at an all time high. And, you know, there are five stages of grief, okay? Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And folks seem to jump from the denial phase to the anger phase in like three minutes. Couple that with confusing talk from various angles. Some of the angles we didn't want to cover because emotions are sensitive and, you know, cats will wild out when they're feeling really sensitive. Particularly the angles that dealt with T.I. Your boy made an ill-timed statement that many people have taken and ran with while still in the second stage of grief. You, you have that short-term memory, so the, the stage is anger, remember, okay? Now, even 50 had to jump in and inform the artist that his comment lacked tact. You see what I'm saying? Now, instead of doubling down, T.I. has wisely, and I'm not saying that um, facetiously or uh, sarcastically, okay? He has wisely expressed his condolences to those that are grieving and stated, quote, I don't speak ill of my allies, that's friends. My last post had nothing to do with King Vaughn. 
Y'all are grossly mistaken. I have no motive or intention to do harm or malice to cats I'm cool with. My family's hearts go out to them and I've expressed this to the people in his life that matter most in this situation. Uh, which I'm adding is a big deal. Uh, I'm assuming he's saying he expressed it to his family and those that were close to him, obviously. T.I. continued on and said, that's all I'm concerned with, but I know IG ain't the place for understanding and miserable people love to keep up ish. Be easy, close quote. Please, folks, for the love of life, wouldn't it be great if we could just have a hard reset? I mean even with beef you see what i'm saying look surely no one wants to live life looking over their shoulder and violence begets violence because someone will always want revenge uh, how about this right F focus on those you care about and make sure make just make sure that they are good Ch check this out if you mistreat people right you'll like them less and as a result you'll treat them worse right like it's a cycle and if you treat people bad you'll like yourself less and you'll take it out on us those that actually like you don't don't think you won't have to pay for hatred in your heart you'll pay and, and trust me you ain't gonna like the cause yo let us know what you think jt will she bite the bait i mean is she wrong if she did L ladies am i wrong look it sounds like she left the door open and, and you know us guys sometimes we don't you know what i'm saying and look how could we so we don't understand y'all and how could we solve the violence man in our inner cities Okay, you, you never know who's scrolling through these comments that, that could take your thought and make it a reality, man. So come through in the comment section like y'all always do, man. Much love and respect to all of y'all, man. Yo, be safe, be good, be easy, rock your masks. I know some of y'all like, oh, I ain't rocking no mask. Ain't nobody gonna tell me about my mask. Good, then go kill your family members, okay? Yo, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.